Guys, this is literally the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen in my life. Megan would be in heaven if she was here with me right now. Oh my goodness, look at all the cats. Avalanche, uh, Nikki Baby, Fireball, Nikki Baby, Nikki herself, and another Nikki Baby. So there's six cats in here right now. Oh, I know. Meg is regretting so badly not coming with me today. I offered, but she just wanted to stay home because she was tired. It, I understand, of course. But <laughs> she's going to be kicking herself when she sees this video this is cat heaven slash cat haven over here now if y'all don't know where i'm at i'm in the rv at longhorn lester's i know my dad has made a bunch of videos about the the rv so let me kind of show you exactly what everything looks like i'm gonna walk outside right quick hi fireball hey bud um this is my dad's RV. He's made videos about it several times before. And it used to be in his garage, but the most terrifying thing happened. Some of you may remember this. It happened recently. Jamie was doing a live video on their Facebook page and she was in the RV while she was doing it. In the background, while she was talking, she didn't even notice it. There was a mouse that like ran across the screen, like the windowsill behind her. And she was just doing the video and had no idea until there were viewers commenting saying like, oh my goodness, Jamie, there was a mouse. Did you not see that mouse? And freaking out. And so afterwards we went back and looked and sure enough, there was, there was a mouse. And I think that was, that'd be traumatizing for anybody. I think it was just true Tom, a little bit too traumatizing for them. So the solution was to park the RV outside and just let the cats live in there. So that's where the cats live now. They get free meals, I suppose, from the mice that they find. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. Megan, my beautiful fiance, when she sees this, so many of her favorite animal type confined into one space, just waiting for all the love and affection in the world. Oh, she's going to be sick that she missed that opportunity. But you know what the good thing is, is that this is their forever home within their forever home. Longhorn Lester's is their forever home, but then this RV is the forever home within the forever home, if you get what I mean. So they'll always be here and she can always come back. Hi, little kitty. Oh, you guys have grown up and become so beautiful. I remember when y'all were born, the exact night it was in our apartment. Megan was Megan was home. I, I wasn't home at the exact moment. And so she actually made her first video or her first segment of a video at that moment when the kittens were born. She was kind of nervous putting it in selfie mode trying to talk. But I think because she's seen me do it so long, she's seen my dad, Jamie, everybody around the family do it so long, she was able to find the confidence to do it. And she made a great little segment to the video. So... I know she's considered making a YouTube channel in the future at some point. So maybe that moment might be the right motivation for her to, or might be the right confidence boost to get her to be like, you know what? I can do it. And I'm sure a lot of you are more than willing to type in the comments to show her how much y'all would love her page and how good of a job she would do, how much y'all enjoy seeing her in my videos. And so if she wants to, that may be the confidence boost that she needs Everybody needs a confidence boost. You guys are incredible to me because we don't always feel the greatest or feel the most confident in ourselves. And even if you try to brush off a negative comment, sometimes it can stick with you and you can kind of have it in the back of your mind when you're doing stuff. But it's impossible to think about it too long when you have thousands of people positively reinforcing you. You know what I mean? So there's that. Hi, little cats. We're going back inside. It's cold out there. I'd rather sit in here where it's warm. Oh, Avalanche. Some of you may not know this, but Avalanche is the very first animal, or is the oldest animal, rather, that we have on this, um, on the I'm a Survivor and the Longhorn Lester's property. I may not have explained that very good. Let me rephrase. Um... She's the animal that has lived with, I, I, I butchered the wording so badly, so let me just start over. 
Avalanche, this cat right here, has lived with us, the Maros, longer than any other animal that we have, including I'm a Survivor Sanctuary and Longhorn Lesters. Would y'all believe that or not? Not Ivy, Imogene, uh, Dixie. Dixie lived with Uncle Raleigh and Joanne before she came to live with the Morrow. Well, with us. They're the Morrows too, technically. Um, you got Tex, Ringo, Meg, Patty. Like all... Meg and Patty don't count, I guess, because they've passed. But you have so many animals with this humongous legacy around the sanctuary. Just icons. The faces of the, faces of the farm. And this little house cat right here, this little white kitty, has lived with us longer than all of them. Is that not the craziest thing or what? <laughs> oh, Avalanche. Good girl. With the evil yellow eyes. She's always had those evil yellow eyes. So do you guys. Y'all have evil yellow eyes too. Nikki, Nikki's babies. I remember Nikki's dad, I think. I'm pretty sure Nikki's dad is the, is the father of these babies. We don't know for sure, but he looks the exact same as Nikki. They look identical, and the kittens look dang near identical too. So, where is Nikki? Okay, those are those are the three. Uh oh, you find a mice in there? You found a mouse? No, I just was being silly. Wait, is that Nikki? Nikki Bella, that's you. They all look the same. You see what I mean? That proves my point further. They all look exactly the same. I can't tell who's who. They all look so alike. Nikki and her dang babies. You can't tell them apart. Y'all want pets? Y'all want attention, guys? Are you the bruiser? I think this is the bruiser, guys. Y'all remember him? Oh, he's grown up so fast. He sprouted like a weed right before our very eyes. It was not long ago that he was just this itty-bitty little thing. The bruiser's all grown up. I can't believe it. Hey, buddy. So, so sweet. And that's not, I can tell that's not Nikki. The face is a little bit smaller. They love being petted, but they don't like being held. I, I picked them up before I started recording. I was loving on them, and he scratched me kind of bad. So, not bad, but he scratched me a little bit. So, I'm not going to pick them up. I'm just going to pet them and love on them. This video would be a cat person's dream. I know that. There's going to be a lot of people in the comments talking about how, as a cat lover, this was just eight, nine, ten minutes of heaven with hanging out with you or different things like that. What's wrong, Lanchi? Whoa! Oh, that's mean. That's a mean girl right there. You're a meanie. I guess, she, I mean, she is the OG. She is the original, not cat, not just cat. She's the original animal around here. So she... Has a little bit of seniority. She has a little bit of pull and leverage around here. She ain't gonna let anybody boss her around. Nobody's gonna come in and disrespect her in her home, in her place. Know what I mean? Alrighty, guys. Well, with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Hope you all have an incredibly blessed day. And as I always say, your boy Ellie out.